السلام علیکم بیٹا ٹوڈے اوور ٹاپک انڈر ڈسکشن از پیرا ٹیوبر کلوسز وچ از آلسو نون ایز جونیز ڈیزیز سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود اٹس انٹروڈکشن پیرا ٹیوبر کلوسز از کاسڈ بائی مائکرو بیکٹیریم اے وی ایم پیرا ٹیوبر کلوسز اینڈ اٹ از اے کرونک کنٹیجیس گرینولومیٹس اینٹرائٹس کریکٹرائزڈ ان کیٹل اینڈ ادر ریومیننٹس by a progressive weight loss and debilitation and eventually goes animal goes towards death diagnosis is primarily made by uh, PCR and uh, there is no satisfactory treatment but uh, uh, we just cull the animal and uh, the control requires good sanitation and management to avoid the exposure of uh, this uh, microorganism among the young animals Now coming toward uh, its distribution it is uh, distributed worldwide many countries have national control programs the highest uh, published prevalence in uh, dairy cattle is uh, with 20% to 90% of the herd is infected in most major dairy producing countries the disease is uh, of uh, economic importance for uh, especially the goat industry in the spain and the sheep industry in the australia coming towards the etiology and the transmission uh, mycobacterium avium uh, which uh, subspecies is paratuberculosis and in short we can say it a uh, map is excreted in large number in the feces of the infected animal and in lower number in their claustrum and milk so it is milk born disease also it is uh, resistant to environmental factors and can survive on uh, pasture for more than one year survival in water is longer than the in, in soil and uh, the infection is usually acquired through the fecal oral route the fecal shedding begins before the clinical signs are apparent and uh, animal in this uh, silent stage of infection are important source of transmission infection is acquired early in the life uh, often uh, soon after birth but the clinical signs rarely develop until the and after the animals are sexually mature now coming toward the pathogenesis after ingestion and uptake of in the pyres patches in the intestine of uh, lower small intestine this uh, intracellular uh, pathogen infects macrophages in the gat tract and associated lymph nodes uh, it is possible that some animals may eliminate infection through a cell mediated immune response but the frequency with which uh, this occurs is unknown in most cases the organism multiply and eventually provoke a chronic granulomatous enteritis that interferes with the nutrient uptake and animals go towards the debilitation and uh, weight loss now coming toward the clinical findings The paratuberculosis in cattle is characterized by weight loss and diarrhea in the late phases of uh, infection but infected animal can appear healthy for months to years and uh, in cattle diarrhea may co- be constant or intermittent in case of sheep and goat uh, and other ruminant diarrhea may not be seen Uh, it typically does not contain blood mucus or epithelial debris and is passed without tenesmus theek hai matlab pet mein jo marod padte hain wo nahi padenge animal ke aur there is no blood or mucus discharge in the diarrhea and uh, throughout a week or months the diarrhea becomes more severe after the, then further weight loss occurs coat color may be faded of the animal and the ventral and sub mandibular edema may be developed due to uh, a protein losing enteropathy this leads to low concentration of total protein and albumin in the plasma although gamma globulin levels are normal theek hai beta okay here you can see this uh, emaciated animal and uh, here is another uh, emaciated animal you can see the ribs and the condition of the body condition of the animal here you can see the goat and uh, in this picture you can see this uh, mandibular edema of uh, of the animal 
now coming towards the lesions a diverse array of uh, pathology may be seen in infected animals ranging from complete lack of gross lesions to thickened and corrugated uh, intestine with enlarged and edematous uh, neighboring lymph node and often uh, there is no correlation between uh, clinical signs and the severity of the lesion carcass uh, may be emaciated with loss of uh, pericardial and perineal fat in more advanced stages here you can see the corrugated or thickened uh, intestinal wall and in this you can see this mesenteric uh, lymph nodes are swollen and here it is uh, a slide uh, uh, which is stained with acid fast stain and in this uh, you can see these blue are the macrophages and here these red color uh, microorganisms are uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis paratuberculosis now coming toward the diagnosis uh, the assay focus on uh, detecting the organism in uh, feces or tissue uh, are done by the culturing and the PCR or on uh, detecting antibody to uh, mycobacterium avium uh, paratuberculosis antigens in ELISA. Uh, the most uh, so sensitive uh, test is PCR and more specific than the serology. PCR has replaced culture for MAP detection because the organism grows very slowly even it takes two to four months and the culture is more costly. Whereas a test of cell mediated immunity uh, such as the interdermal joinin test and lymphocyte transform transformation test and interferon gamma are used more on research basis. Coming towards the treatment, uh, there is no satisfactory treatment uh, is known and the b best ways to control and cull the animal the, for controlling requires good sanitation and management practices aimed at limiting the exposure of uh, young animals to the other organi uh, organisms to the microorganism. A routine testing uh, program for adults can help focus effort in the controlling of the disease and uh, the low cost test is ELISA kit which can be used at the commercial farms and then it can be further confirmed by the PCR test uh, in case of positive animal. Now coming toward the zoonosis of this disease, there are conflict uh, data on the involvement of uh, the causative organism in uh, Crohn disease a chronic granulomatous enteritis of unknown cause in people however uh, microbacterium avium paratuberculosis is consistently detected by the pcr in people which are having uh, this uh, Crohn disease so this was all thank you so much uh, if you have any question you can ask me in the group